Hello guys, my name is Janos. In today's video I'm going to show you the bucket feature and some use cases. What if you needed to provide access to a bunch of emails from different email accounts to a third party? Let's say an external auditor needs access to emails related to a specific case. The relevant emails are located in 10 different mailboxes. Now, you don't want to provide access to those all 10 mailboxes because they contain sensitive business emails as well, not related to the specific case. Now enter the bucket feature. It allows auditors to create buckets and put any email to one or more buckets. Since auditors can access all emails, they can collect the relevant emails for the mentioned case and put them to a bucket. Then all you have to do is to create an account for the external party, perhaps a local account, assigned, assign it to the given bucket. Now when the external party logs in, Piler will recognize that he is assigned and restricted to a bucket and he could see and perform searches only in the emails in the assigned bucket. The bucket feature is not limited to external parties, you may use it for company employees as well. For example, when a user or some users need to work on a specific topic, they may be assigned to a collection of emails in a bucket. Now let's see it in action. I have already logged in as an admin user, so let's create another user account. Let the email address would be external at local. The username would be simply external. Let's give it a nice username. Let's select the local domain. And let's assign external as his user account. OK. Let's try it out. And unfortunately, this user cannot see anything because he is assigned this email address and it matches nothing. Okay, let's continue and log in as an auditor. And let's say this external account is interested in emails related to kernel panics. In the demo site we have lots of kernel panic emails for both the Fedora account, for the Fedora mailing list and even the Ubuntu mailing list. So let's find these emails. Subject kernel panic. And we can see that we have almost three thousand such emails. And let's find a few emails to the to the Fedora list. And indeed we have some. So for starters let's create the bucket. Let's add the new bucket. Let's call it B001 and I assign the email address, email address of the external auditor. We may even pick a nice color. That's it. Now let's go back to our search and let's click on, let's select the bucket, let's click on the folder icon and there was a short message, a brief message, that they were put to this B01 bucket. Let's click on search again and we can see that the upper pane, these uh, bucket assignments are displayed. Let's click on either of these emails and in the lower preview pane we can also see the assigned bucket. Okay. Now let's log in as the external party.
and now we can see that uh, this user account has access to all of these emails containing the phrase in the subject line kernel panic and notice that the external party is not aware of that that uh, he is assigned to a bucket he can only see emails inside the bucket and may perform various searches for example for example he may find emails to the Fedora mailing list and uh, he may narrow the search for example let's say install disk install disk okay and notice that he can see emails from two accounts one of them is the Fedora account a subset only and the other is the Ubuntu mailing list account again only a subset of those emails all right and uh, just as a regular account this external party may also assign notes like this is my test note have it he can also tag a few messages like, like my tags okay now let's log out let's come back as an auditor user Now let's create another bucket. And note that we can assign several emails to a given bucket. Let's call it Apple Stack. Some account another. And the final one no oh, this is an invalid email okay okay and this time Let's select emails containing the phrase subject apple dash sa like apple security and we can see that we have 17 matches and simply let's put them to this other bucket but what if we later recognize that we don't want to include this Elkepton uh, release to this search results. Okay. Let's tag them all and remove. And if we make a search again, then we can see that we have removed all of these Air Captain emails from the given bucket. Let's come back to this kernel subject topic and uh, Note that uh, when I selected this search phrase, I didn't go through all of the pages. And if you don't select 
any emails, then the bucket, the bucket assignment applies to all of these 2770 emails. So you don't have to go through all the pages and uh, select and apply the bucket selection because the selection applies all sorts, all search results. So that's it in a nutshell guys. The bucket feature will be included in the upcoming 1.6.0 release. See you in the next video. Goodbye.